Good morning. <clears throat> this morning, before we come down in prayer, I probably didn't hit everything that goes on in this congregation. Um, this week, in a meeting that we had, uh, we were reminded of all the different things and aspects that go on in this congregation of, of needs and uh, people that need the Lord and His strength. Um, if I've missed them, I'm sorry, but remember them in your prayers to pray for all the different things and, and all the things that go on in all the lives of all our congregation members. And especially as we get, hopefully get our, our um, groups going again and that we don't get slowed down by this pandemic, which has absolutely been a pain in you know what, Lord. And we just, we actually pray that, that this will go forward, that we don't slow down now. But we ultimately just put all our faith in God. All right, I'm praying with new glasses this morning. Let's bow our heads. Our Heavenly Father, thank you that this morning we can come before you and worship you and lay all your needs, all our needs at your feet. We bring to you our country and all that is going on right now. We ask that you will bring peace and calmness to all involved. We also ask, Lord, that you will work through our leaders somehow to do what is right in your eyes, not theirs that you will show them and all the people that you are truly a loving God. Help us to have the faith and trust in you through all of this. We pray for all the individual needs that we have in our congregation, Lord. You know each and every one of them, Lord. From the oldest to the youngest members, from those that suffer from sickness such as cancer and depression and loneliness to sicknesses we don't even know much about. There are those who may have closed their hearts to you, Lord. Please open them with love. Help our congregation members who are the oldest. Life is becoming challenging for them. Give them the love they need to know you surround them with love and strength, and that we thank them for all they have given to us over the years. We also thank you today, Lord, for Andy and Edith Veerman, you who are moving closer to family in the future. They have been part of our congregation for a long time. We ask that you will bless them as they move on and keep them in your care. We also pray for anyone who may be looking for work, Lord. This is also in your hands. Open up avenues that they may know that you are guiding them. We pray that you will bring cool heads and peace to the Ukraine region. Lord, we don't know what these leaders are always up to, but please don't allow war to start. That's all we plead. There are so many innocent people. Please watch over them. We pray for our Christian school, which we support in many different ways. Help the school to stay focused on you as it teaches young children how awesome you are. Bless the teachers and also give them the encouragement they need from you. We pray for our pastor, Dan. Please continue to give him strength and encouragement as he teaches all of us. It cannot always be easy for a pastor dealing with all the different things going on in families, but please give him and his family the strength to see things through you. We pray for our church and all the programs that may be starting up again in the next few weeks. It has been a long off and on two years with this COVID-19 pandemic. We ask now that you will please bless each teacher, each leader as they get things ready, and also bless all those who come to our church programs. Lord, lastly, you know all the needs in this congregation. Please be with every single one who needs your help, big or small. Please bless this sermon this morning, that we may be blessed by its words. And most of all, Lord, we thank you for sending your Son to die on the cross for our sins. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. <clears throat> 